system here with uh, a frame that I pur purchased from Banggood. Uh, look down in the description for the link to this frame. It is described on Banggood as a DJI F330 RC quadcopter frame kit. However, it should be noted that this is not an original DJI product. Uh, there you can see the product description and SKU. Um, but it is not an original DJI product. It is a clone. And uh, yeah, I, I decided to get one of these and uh, just try it out. And uh, let's pretty much put it together and see what it is like. There have been some good comments. There have been some bad comments. I decided to get the one with the red arms, like red and black. And uh, what's nice about this is that this one came with a full set of screws, which is quite handy, quite nice. That's going to be a top plate. And that's your bottom plate, which has the PC board integrated. In other words, we can connect our battery there and we have outputs for our motors or connection to the ESC, which then connect to the motors on that side, which is quite handy. But uh, you must also bear in mind that if you twist or break this board, you will have a, you might experience a situation where you have a track disconnection and uh, you might have a bit of a problem there which can be resolved by just adding another um, power distribution board. And this is the tiny top plate. Now, the top plate actually does say there, F3 City. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just do a quick put together of this frame and see if it is as bad or as good as some people claim. Okay, you do get two packets of screws here. Um, in this packet, uh, you have a slightly larger, which seems to be three millimeter screws. I'm just gonna pop them out there. I'm gonna count them because that's the easiest way to determine which screws are which. These I would assume actually are your motor, meant to be motor mount screws. So there should be 12, four, eight. No, oh, sorry, not 12. <laughs> there should be 16 and there are 17 okay so these slightly larger screws are obviously meant to be motor mount screws because there are 16 of them four per mounting so I'm going to put them back into their packet some people have reported that they did not receive screws but yeah, unfortunately, uh, it seems there might be from time to time a bit of a quality control issue, but that is something which is easily resolved with Banggood. They are quite helpful in their customer services. And these smaller screws, how do we know that these screws are meant for the build? Well, simple. You need three screws at the top, and you need two screws at the bottom. That's five per arm. So it's five, 10, 15, 20. So there should be at least 20 of these screws. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, that's 21. So there you know. All right, since this is the bottom plate, these arms will be at the bottom. Now, Choosing which side you want at the front, some like to have uh, red at the front, some like to have black at the front. I like to have black at the back, uh, uh, black at the front. So I'm just going to assemble the, the frame quickly. When I actually put on my quadcopter parts later, I'll disassemble it again. But this is pretty much just to see what the frame is like. Okay. 
Okay, and there we go. We have our one little screw extra, um, which is quite nice that they do provide at least one extra just in case something is wrong with one of the screws or you, you happen to lose one. It's a nice little frame. To be honest, if I look at it, it doesn't look bent or warped. And uh, it sits very, very nicely. There's no gap, so it seats properly there. I have a level here with which I'm just going to check the arms. Now, I just place these across the arms, and you will immediately then see if there are gaps by looking in there. And they actually look pretty good. So it would seem I got one of those which uh, actually is not warped at all. Let me see if I can pick this up and show you. Because it's actually looking at this, you'll see there I'm not applying pressure, I'm just holding it in position. And it is very well aligned. So yes, then that's on both sides. And uh, it seems pretty sturdy. Um, there's a little bit of flexing. Quite a bit less than I thought. I'm actually applying quite a bit of pressure here. Uh, no more than the flat characteristics for a quad copter of this size would exhibit. But anyway, there you go. Um, from what I see so far, I like this. The next part would obviously be to add some electronics, add motors, flight control, etc., etc., and get this thing built and flying. But that'll be in the next video. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and if you do like it and uh, would like to follow uh, build that follow on this, just check the description below. If I do decide to uh, add motors, etc., I will put a link in there of the video that actually follows on this. And um, there you go. That is the F330 clone frame from Banggood.